SEMrush's keyword gap tool makes it easy to find all the valuable keywords, both organic and paid, that one or multiple competitors rank for, but you don't. So in SEMrush, what you can do is come over to the SEO toolkit, go to the keyword gap tool, and then what you wanna do is enter your domain and then up to five competitor domains. So just for this example, I'll enter my domain, robbyrichards.com, and then drop in marketingarsenal.io since they're a competitor. Then I'll click compare and make sure you've got the organic keywords toggle selected here as well. Now you're gonna see a few different reports. You're gonna see the top opportunities and the keyword overlap. Now, what I like to do too is start with some additional filters up the top here. So I like to first start with any keywords where my competitors are already ranking in the top 10. These are gonna be the most relevant opportunities. And if the site has a similar or comparable domain rating to my site, then it gives me a good initial indication that I might also have a chance of ranking in the top 10 positions. Then I'll set a minimum volume threshold. I'll put hundred plus here. Basically, you just wanna make sure the different keywords can drive traffic to your business. Now the keyword difference to hear, I'm gonna start with a threshold of 29 because I only wanna capture the easiest keyword opportunities that we can go after. Now, when we scroll down here, you're gonna see immediately that I've got 27 missing keywords. And these are all the keywords where Marketing Arsenal is ranking inside the top 10 that I'm currently not ranking anywhere. And you can see there's already loads of really good opportunities in here like PPC reporting software, white label SEO software, rank tracking API, AI SEO software, similar opportunities that emerged in the previous step. But the beauty of this tool is I can scale this process and enter up to five competitors. And then I can see all the keywords where I'm missing across all of those sites and then just click through. And just like we did with the previous steps, just add these to your new keyword list here inside of SEMrush. Now, similarly, what you can do is you can look at this week keywords report. And these are gonna be keywords where you do have some existing rankings around where your competitor is ranking in the top 10. And this could tell you where you might need to optimize your content or maybe even produce a net new asset in order to more aggressively compete for that keyword in the search results, especially where you have keywords that are ranking outside this top 20 or 30 positions, you likely have poor keyword targeting that you'll need a net new piece to go after. For here, like I already have a piece on the best SERP tracking tools. I'm in position 10, so this would be a content relaunch opportunity, and I'll add that to my existing keyword set. Whereas Yahoo rank tracking, I can see here they're in the top 10, and if I hover over this number two, I can see they actually have a dedicated article, Yahoo Key keyword monitoring, but for me, it's actually my just daily rank tracking article. So I don't have good keyword alignment. I would need to create a net new asset in order to aggressively compete for this specific Yahoo rank tracking keyword. And don't forget to, just like you did in the previous steps, if you have a really large keyword set still after adding these filters, you can always come up and add some intent filters or even come back and say, I only wanna look at keywords containing certain modifiers like best software, tools, services, product related modifiers, things like that to help you drill into the highest intent opportunities. Now, one other thing I just wanna highlight here with the keyword gap tool is you can actually compare domain versus subfolders. So if I drop over here into this tab, you can see I've got Fellum and Law here. It's another law firm in the Florida area. Let's just pretend if you had that law firm and you're interested in finding some high intent keyword opportunities, you could enter in the subfolders of your competitors like Dolman Law Group here, where we know they have all of their service related pages in this legal services subfolder. So now I can enter the Fellum and Law domain but compare it and find the keyword gaps against this legal services subfolder. And now I'll just make sure I've got subfolder selected from the dropdown and hit compare. And this is a great way to where you, Vellum and Law could compare themselves against multiple subfolders of their up to five competitors. Now, as I scroll down here, well, as you can see, I've got 756 missing keywords that Vellum and Law is not ranking for that the legal services subfolder on Dolman Law is ranking for. But I wanna clean this up again. So I'll add those same filters to only look where my competitor is ranking in the top 10. And then you can see that that's already trimmed it down to 161 results. And there's some really good keyword opportunities in here too, like brain injury lawyer, traumatic brain injury lawyer, spinal cord injury, property damage lawyer, bike wreck lawyer, lots of different high intent opportunities in here. Some of them are a lot more competitive than others. So what I can do now is just come back up to the top and say, okay, I only wanna look at the easiest opportunities. So I would go zero to 29 as my keyword difficulty threshold Again. Now, when I scroll down, I can see I've got 104 missing keywords. So this is probably where you would want to start if you were Fellum and Law. But the key to this strategy is just to look for the subfolders that contain keywords that align directly with your website's monetization model.
SEMrush's keyword gap analysis tool is unique in that it enables you to analyze paid versus organic keyword gaps. So a few different use cases could include finding all the keywords your competitors are bidding on that you aren't, finding all the keywords you rank for outside the top three positions but are not bidding on. And these are areas where you may need to provide some paid air cover, or you could find all the keywords that your competitors are bidding on that you aren't targeting as part of your organic strategy. And this could highlight some higher intent keyword gaps. But we'll start here with the paid air cover example. So let's pretend that SEMrush wants to provide some paid air cover for all their high intent keywords that they are not yet ranking for inside the top three positions. So in the SEMrush gap analysis tool, what you would do is enter your main domain, but set it to paid keywords from the drop down here. And then next you would enter in that subfolder location that houses your highest intent organic keywords, and then enter the subfolder drop down here, make sure that's set to organic keywords and then hit compare. Now, because we're only interested in looking at areas where we're not bidding on keywords yet and we're ranking outside the top three positions, what I like to do is come into competitor since that's essentially what we've listed here as our SEMrush features folder. So we'll make sure we come down to competitor and then we're looking for any keywords in this case where let's just say we have positions four to 10. So we're on the first page, we're not yet in the top three positions and then I would select apply. And now what I can do is scroll down here and hit the missing tab. And what I'm going to see now are all of the keywords that SEMrush is currently ranking for in positions four to 10, but they aren't bidding on yet with paid search. Now you can apply some intent filters here to trim this down even more, but now I'll just scan down this list and I would start to look for any really high value, high intent keywords that I need to bid on while my organic rankings are maturing. So as I scroll down, I can see something like competitor analysis tool, maybe even PPC research since they have their advertising toolkit or paid search tools. Uh, backlinking tools could be another really good one. Competitive research tools, keyword analyzer, on-page SEO tools, th that could be another great one. So these are good key keywords that they have good volume that they could add into their paid keyword rotation until those organic rankings mature. Okay, so another example here is we can use the gap analysis tool where we can compare organic and paid keywords to see or find high value keyword gaps. So what we would do in this case, for example, if we were copper, we could put in our root domain organic keywords, and then we would enter in a competitor like pipe drive root domain. But in this case, we want to look at paid keywords. So we're comparing where we've got gaps where copper isn't ranking organically, but pipe drive is bidding on those keywords. So we'll click compare. And now you can scroll down here and you can see the missing keywords tab. And these are all the keywords now that Pipedrive are bidding on these keywords, but Copper has no organic visibility around these currently. Now you can just scroll down this list and start to select different keywords that you want to add into your organic rotation or maybe even bid on in paid search yourself. And you can come up as well and add in some more modifiers or even to volume and position thresholds to trim this list down first. So an example of this was I might be looking at any keywords to to start with that have that software modifier. So I'll click apply and that's gonna trim down my keyword set now, 212 missing opportunities. And I can instantly start to see things like best or top CRM software sales CRM software, and then even industry or vertical specific ones like best real estate CRM software, best CRM software for small businesses. So these could all be really good keywords to go after that have a lot more intent behind them. And then let's just add one more filter on here and say, let's just look for all of the opportunities that have low competition. Now I've got 41 missing keywords. And if I see here, there's very specifics like logistics CRM software, that could be a really good keyword, much lower competition best B2B CRM software, CRM software for the travel industry. So it looks like there's a lot of vertical or industry specific keyword opportunities that copper could go after. 